The Noctua NH-D9L is a CPU cooler that has been launched way back around 2015, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to be honest, this cooler is small, as in very small. In fact, here it is, next to a mouse. The NH-D9L is in fact a smaller alternative to the Noctua NH-U9S cooler, as both are similarly priced and apparently should perform pretty close, but we'll see about that later on. As I've said a minute ago, the main advantage of this cooler is its small footprint, especially in terms of the height, which is around 110mm, with the fan installed, mind you. This makes the NH-D9L a smaller alternative to the NH-U9S, which is surprising to say the least, as the Noctua NH-U9S is already a pretty small cooler. One interesting thing about the NH-D9L is that its overall shape is curiously similar with that of the Noctua NH-D15, just way smaller. In fact, I have seen this cooler being referenced on the interwebs as a smaller NH-D15, which is funny. Anyway, the heatsink itself has a simple dual tower design and can accommodate a maximum of three 92mm fans, although from the factory only one is included and thus we will only test it with just one fan installed. The heatsink has approximately 70 aluminum cooling fins, which means that they are around 35 fins per tower and 70 fins in total for the whole heatsink. The fins per inch density is quite high on a cooler of these dimensions. The NH-D9L uses just four copper-made heat pipes, which are also nickel-plated. These heat pipes are soldered directly to the back of the base plate of the cooler and to the cooling fins. Soldering of the heat pipes is one of, if not the best way to transfer the heat away from the CPU itself and onto the cooler and thus on the heat dissipating areas. In addition, the heat pipe endings are machined evenly and thus have a symmetrical look which really completes the whole aesthetic of the heatsink, a thing which Noctua appears to be doing very well on all coolers regarding of the price. The base plate of the cooler is made from the same nickel plated copper as the heat pipes. The base surface is really smooth and has a mirror like reflection to it, with small circular marks left from the manufacturing process. However, these marks are so small and fine that the spread of the thermal compound on the CPU surface will not be affected at all. This has been the case with most, if not all, modern Noctua CPU coolers. The fan used with the NH-D9L is just 92mm in size. This particular fan is a Noctua NF-A9 PWM and it is the exact same fan used on the Noctua NH-U9S model, just for your knowledge. Also, the fan has a maximum speed of 2000 RPM and a minimum speed of 400 RPM. It is worth pointing out that if you are using the included low noise adapter, then the maximum speed will be lowered from the advertised 2000 RPM to just 1550 RPM. In addition, the cable of the fan is covered by high quality sleeving and is plenty long to reach most of the fan headers that are located around the CPU socket area of your motherboard. The fan also uses a simple 4 pin connector for power and is fully PWM compatible, thus you can control its speed through your motherboard. Other features of this fan include rubber pads on both sides of the corners of the frame, which will not only prevent any vibrations from occurring, but also prevent any scratching of the heatsink itself. Also the fan, while small, it still uses the Noctua SSO2 bearing system, which is one of the best systems around, both in terms of the performance, reliability, and also in terms of how low the nose output Put is. One little feature that this cooler has are these small rubber or silicone pads that are placed on the inside of the heatsink, on the lower side. These provide a good base for the fan to sit on and also prevent any scratching of the heatsink itself. It's the little details that matter and Noctua is one of the best at doing so. The accessories included with this cooler are plentiful and the bundle itself is pretty much the standard Noctua bundle. You get a user manual which is printed individually for each of the main platforms available for this CPU cooler. Then you have a Philips screwdriver, a tube of NTH1 high grade thermal compound, a low noise adapter, an extra pair of fan clips for the installation of an extra fan, the metallic backplate, and finally, they are the components of the Secofirm mounting system which includes the Intel mounting bars alongside the AMD mounting bars, nuts, bolts, studs, plastic spacers and thumbscrews. 
The installation of the cooler is the same as it is with the rest of the Noctua coolers that have this mounting system. We start with the backplate which goes at the back of the motherboard. Then on the front side of the CPU socket you install the required plastic spacers over the studs of the backplate. Then you slide in the mounting arms, in my case the longer Intel ones. And secure those to the studs and onto the plastic spacers with these four thumb screws. Finally, apply the thermal compound onto the CPU surface and place the heatsink over the mounting arms. Then you secure it by tightening the pre installed spring loaded screws and you're pretty much done. Finally, you have to attach the fan and connect it to a fan header on your motherboard. And this is how the Noctua NH-D9L looks like once up and running inside a full ATX system. And if you thought that the Noctua NH-U9S was small, well, this cooler is even smaller. We start with the clearance and this is going to be a very short sentence as the clearance for this cooler is very good. The cooler itself has such a small footprint that everything is exposed around the CPU socket and you can use any RAM kit you want with any graphics card. In fact, this cooler should work great with micro ATX and mini ITX systems as well. However, before we get into the cooling and performance of this cooler, we need to hear how it sounds like. And to do this, I have included a noise sample of the cooler and its fan, going from a dead stop to its maximum speed of 2000 RPM. I am showing you this as while the decibel value reading is useful, that does not take into account the various unwanted noises which may appear, such as bearing noises, vibrations, fan frame rattle, and so on. The NH-D9L with its fan running at the maximum available speed reached a maximum noise output of 39 decibels, with the measuring device placed at the standard distance of 10 cm away from the system and the CPU cooler. The cooler itself is 1 decibel noisier than the NH-U9S which uses the same 92mm fan, and this difference in noise is most likely thanks to the fact that in the case of the NH-D9L, the fan is placed in between the two heatsink towers which will create more noise by the air being pushed and pulled through the fins of the cooler. The performance testing is done by using two pieces of software or benchmarks. The used CPU is an Intel i9-9900K running both at its factory frequency and then manually overclocked to 5GHz on all cores. The first test involves the usage of the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark which places a load on the CPU which is close to what you can encounter in your daily usage, especially when playing a modern AAA video game. And in this test, the Noctua NH-D9L reached a maximum temperature of 70 degrees Celsius with the ambient temperature set at a fixed 26 degrees Celsius. This temperature result makes the NH-D9L approximately 4 degrees warmer than the NH-U9S, which is pretty good considering the smaller heatsink size and the smaller cooling surface area. However, the next test will push the cooler to its very limit, as it is using the FPU stability test found within the AIDA64 Extreme software. This benchmark places a load on the CPU that is unrealistically high, a load which you will not encounter in your daily usage, unless you are heavily leveraging your CPU for high resolution and bitrate video rendering. And in this test, the NH-D9L reached a maximum temperature of 96 degrees Celsius, with the same ambient temperature of 26 degrees Celsius, a temperature which is high but remember, it is just barely enough to not get the CPU into the thermal throttling stage. The Noctua NH-D9L is a good, small form factor CPU cooler that offers exactly what it promises, which is a good cooling performance. However, such a small CPU cooler has no business near a high TDP CPU such as the Intel i9-9900K, especially one that has been overclocked to 5GHz. Yes, it will work, but you are pushing it, and only causing issues in the long run. However, even with the 9900K, if there is no overclocking done, the Noctua NH-D9L does great, with a maximum temperature of 70 degrees Celsius, which is pretty good, but again, no overclocking for this cooler, especially on these types of CPUs. The build quality is very good and it is on the same level as the Noctua NH-D15, or the likes from the manufacturer with a solid copper base plate which is also nickel plated and four heat pipes that are directly soldered to the base plate itself and to the cooling fins. 
The price of the Noctua NH-D9L makes it an interesting product as it is directed towards a specific user and a specific system, mainly the small form factor crowd. You could get the NH-U9S for roughly the same price and get a better performance, however, the NH-D9L is a cooler that is smaller and is close in terms of the cooling performance with the NH-U9S. So in reality, you'd get this CPU cooler only if you are restricted in terms of the space available in your system and the NH-U9S does not fit. As otherwise, there are better options for the same price, such as the NH-U9S or the NH-U12S. If you like this review, then you may consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below you can find both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages.